back to my channel. I am Dr. Shweta Karlapudi, obstetrician and gynecologist. I am very happy to hear that all my friends and colleagues are waiting for my next video. So with such an encouragement, I am sure that I'm, I, I can make many more videos like this. Today I am going to talk about anemia in pregnancy, especially iron deficiency anemia. So when a woman goes to her obstetrician or gynecologist and if she checks her hemoglobin level, if it is less than 11 gram per deciliter of blood, then she is said to be anemic. So this anemia is more commonly seen in developing countries rather than developed countries. The reasons are many because the women in developing countries, they give birth to many children, they don't have facilities towards contraception and there is less spacing in between the deliveries also and they don't eat properly, they breastfeed their children for long durations and they conceive while breastfeeding also. So these women, when they conceive with anemia, so they are going to have all the symptoms like weakness, easy tiredness, easy fatigability and because of decreased immunity during anemia they are more prone to get infections and because of these infections they may deliver their baby prematurely and they can, they can have low birth weight and growth retarded babies also during delivery also they can bleed more than normal people and uh, there are chances that they can get infections in the uh, postnatal period that is after delivery and they may not breastfeed their, their children properly so it is important that all the women get iron supplementation during their pregnancy and the most important thing is everybody should know what are the natural sources of iron. So uh, the natural sources of iron in the vegetarian sources are all the green leafy vegetables for example palak, methi and uh, the vegetables like beetroot, carrot, broccoli, cauliflower and uh, coming to the dry fruits all the dry fruits have good iron content in them almonds raisins pistachio dates especially dates have uh, more iron in them and jaggery it is a very good source of iron so all the pregnant ladies they should take at least one chikki laddu that is a laddu made of jaggery and groundnut or they can also have uh, either a dal or bhaji which is made up of green leafy vegetables and the other important thing is this iron absorption is also affected by many factors that is the absorption is less when the iron tablet is taken along with tea, coffee or chocolate or if it is taken along with calcium. In pregnancy we usually give iron and calcium supplementation but do not take it together okay uh, because it reduces your iron absorption so in order to increase your iron absorption you have to take it along with vitamin c that is all the citrus fruits are rich in vitamin c so take it with lemon juice or orange juice etc so you can improve the absorption of iron in your body i hope you like this video please share comment and like and subscribe my channel thank you so much